Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is the daily three card reading for April 9th. I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, whoops. So I just got in and it's uh, 1030. You always have an option. Sometimes, you know, we're in a situation and it's like, oh, I can only do this one thing. I can only say yes. I can only say no. No, you always have an option. You always have a choice. That is the little mini message. Okay. Always have a choice. Empowering. Empowering. Let's see what the cards have to say. I'm available for uh, private tarot readings. I'm available for uh, IET, and I'm available for angel and clearing as well. The information is below. You always have a choice. One, two, three. Okay. The choice might be very clear. And you know what also with this card, it's really interesting. <clears throat> it's a really positive card. It's one of the best cards in the deck. It's about clarity. It's about um, abundance. It's about joy. I always feel like it's about spiritual nourishment. So maybe the choice or the option or the opportunity is the one that leads more toward being nourished, being in the sunshine, being abundant being free. Okay. And then I have the 10 of wands. 10 of wands is a lot. It's completion. But it's also, there's this energy of burden, right? There's this energy of, I can't see in front of me. Um, I'm so uh, overwhelmed when I say I mean you. I'm so overwhelmed. It's like, oh, I don't really have a, an option. I don't really have a choice. It's like, no, yeah, you do. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, well, all this stuff is in front of me. It's like, well, then look there, look there, right? And then I have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is about clarity. So I have two, two swords of clarity, two cards of clarity, and one of Things being obscured, but the clarity is in the beginning and the end. So, and this is about a new idea. It's about seeing things from a new perspective. It's about getting a message. It's about um, victory, slicing something out. So, maybe if you're always saying yes, you know, maybe it's like, this is your permission to say no. If you're always saying no, it's your permission to say yes. A little bit like that. Because, you know, so many times in our lives, it's like, well, I feel burdened. I feel overwhelmed. I feel something's being put upon me. Or, I, you know, I'm taking on more responsibility than I, I'm really uh, either capable of or that I want to. Or I feel like I've been put in a position. You always have a choice. Always. So I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying for you to say yes. I'm not saying for you to say no. I'm saying you to get clear as to what the best option is in this particular situation. That brings you into abundance, joy, freedom, clarity, nourishment. And it comes down to the same question that I ask all the time. Is this for my highest good and highest dealing? Does this hold love for me? Does this hold love for me? Uh, that, like that's just really the basic question. Does this hold love for me? To eat this food, does this hold love for me? To uh, get involved with this person, does this hold love for me? To uh, go out of my way in a particular situation, does this hold love for me? 
like that like that's what it comes down to so i don't know what i'm going to name it but i'll figure it out blessings have a lovely day